How's it going everyone? Today's topic is K1 Logistics Master Law Sector, dealing with champions of barrier and overload with a threat of void. You will have a lot of servitors here, so you want to make sure that you do have a void um, resistance on if you can. What we're going to do is to find this law sector, you're going to go to your destinations, find your map with the indicator, click on the indicator, find the K1 Logistics on your map here, and you'll spawn in on Sanctuary and make your way right over. If you've never ran this one before on normal, you're going to walk through this door when you come up the hill, Take a left, go all the way down that path, follow it all the way through, and you'll complete the you'll complete the run on normal. Now we have an idea where everything spawns at. Um, if you have completed on normal, you can come right here to the flag, run on legendary or master. The only difference between the two is legendary has less champions, master has more champions. So if you, uh, they're, they're kind of the same difficulty, I wouldn't worry about the power level. I would just say as long as you can take out champions, you can take it at whatever rate of speed you want. Uh, flawless is kind of just, you know, just don't die. <laughs> so, so let's get you an idea of what we're running here for the build. Arch Shredder here, Gathering Storm. We'd love to make the boss a unicorn by throwing a spear at it. It'll just wreck any champion also. You'll have uh, multiple opportunities for this during the run with our build here. So Gambler's Dodge, along with Combination Blow, will keep you healthy, right? This, this will keep you melee active. This will allow you to heal on melees. Um, so I definitely recommend this with Lethal Current. It allows you to jolt targets also. So if you don't want to use any weapons to take care of jolts, your class can do it for yourself, and these two will always be available. Um, as long as you kill people with some melees or do dodge near targets, um, or as you're amplified, you, your abilities recharge faster. So um, definitely recommend these two together with your skip grenades, which will go into our Shino uh, Shinobu's Val um, exotic, which allows multiple skip grenades, and they recharge so quickly. So you can literally throw grenades all day long. Your grenades will jolt with shark, will shock the when you get kills while amplified. Um, which will be amplified all day long here as long as you, you know, jolt targets, which your grenades will do for you. You'll drop orbs. They'll they'll give you ionic traces for more ability. And then when you're in close combat, resistances, uh, spark resistance will give you 25% increase, uh, 25% resist, uh, damage reduction. <laughs> Sorry. We're running uh, Arbalist here for anti-barrier. Since we're running double special here, um, I'm running Arbalist. You can also run, um, if you wanted any auto rifle you liked, there's no specifics. You can run centrifuge if you wanted. Um, I am running... So I'm running special, I like to run a second special, that way they kind of combo and they have, it drops a lot of ammo. So if I get a lot of kills with special we weapons out, uh, equipped, it'll drop more heavy for me. Um, but if uh, you can also run a Wish Ender if you like, or whatever you want to hear, they're, they're both, um, like Centrifuge and Wish Ender are both really good here. So all of them work. Uh, trace Rifle, you can run a Scout Rifle if you, if you like. If you don't like the um, Trace Rifle, or you don't have one that's not an exotic, you can run, you know, you can always run um, a Trace, like here. You can also run an exotic um, Trace Rifle if you want it, and then run a primary of uh, uh, auto rifle. You'll be able to take care of barriers, no problem. Heavy can be anything you want. There's no specifics for this run. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher, machine gun, uh, whatever your preference is, definitely run it. Just make sure these two match together if you can, or whatever's gonna do the most amount of ad clear besides your utility uh, with your grenades and melee, um, that will match up with your arc siphon, So if, or your siphon. So if I'm running two arc weapons here, my, my siphon's gonna be arc because if I use these to clear any ads or they happen to kill any ads, um, they're going to give me orbs, which will then go into my Shinobu's Vow for more grenades. Our build consists of 100 Resilience for Survivability, 100 Discipline for more grenades, and then Ashes to Assets for ability uh, super uptime, and then Grenade Kickstart will keep our grenades going all day long. So the more grenade kills you get, means more grenade kickstart activate, or more orbs, which means more armor charges, which means more um, activation of grenade kickstart, which means more grenades. So you go back and forth in a full cycle, and you're just doing tons of damage with grenades. You'll be able to throw them all day long. Um, so it's, it's really, really nice. Double void resist, one arc resist, as you do take some arc damage, but your, your main damage to take in is void resist here. Um, if you wanted to run, if you're having issues, if you're having, if you're doing really well with the servitors, um, of taking them out, then you could switch this to double arc. Uh, but again, it's all up to your preference. Your feet here, um, I would suggest if you don't need better already to run, uh, electric, uh, an elemental charge, as this helps with giving you more armor charges to pair with grenade kickstart. If you are feeling like you're not healing enough with recovery, or a recuperation isn't doing it for you, uh, then definitely put the other one back on for survivability. But you should be very healthy. Again, melees heal you, so make sure you're meleeing whenever you're low. Um, so dodge melee, dodge melee, dodge melee. You'll be healthy. Everything else is kind of standard on here for survivability. Uh, just make sure if you're using a auto rifle, you have it in your um, uh, build here for your artifact. And then other than that, we'll just go and knock this thing out. Enough talking by me. I appreciate all the support. You guys have been fantastic. Keep it going. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, let me know if I'm doing in the comments below. Um, and as always, you guys are fantastic. All right, here we go.
You have two options. You can destroy this thing from far if you want with your rocket and arbalist, or you can go left, destroy this top thing here. Once you do that, the jolt, I mean, sorry, you're gonna need to jolt the overload. He's gonna kinda go aggressive with you, so you wanna make sure you have something for him. You will spam out grenades all day long with this build. Kinda gets uh, <laughs> kinda fun where you don't have to really do anything as long as you just stuff throw grenades. So it's kinda nice. Just gonna throw some grenades around, get some damage out. Let's see if I can, uh, I need to, what I need to do is get the, uh, barrier to come to the staircase to the left. So I can easily, uh, do some damage to it, so let's see if I can do that. Get him to, oh, he dropped. Not what I wanted, but it's, this will work a little bit. Yeah, that actually worked a little better than I thought. <laughs> so usually, uh, he will go to the left on the stairs, uh, but I guess this time he wanted to go down to the bottom. So that worked out for us. Gonna one over here, dodge, punch one of them. Once we punch one, we can sit here and punch all day and heal. Perks of having, uh, being a hunter. Gonna grenade this guy. Rocket, grenade here. And then what we would recommend, just punch, punch, punch to get our health back if we need it. That way this guy won't kill us and, uh, we're in a good spot. You're gonna have, uh, three to four of these shanks. Two on the right side here that can do some damage. The other ones you're gonna have on the far side. You can stun the overload if you like. Uh, you will have one overload coming aggressive, so I'd make sure you just, you know, have something ready for them. Um, and just wait for the overload to get over here close to you. You don't want to, uh, stun him on the bridge, as you want him to uh, get out of the range of any, uh, shielding from the barrier. So, preferably, if you can get him right over here, it'd be a perfect spot. So, hello. Come on, dude. Don't want to stun you there, but I will. Yeah, I, got, I killed this guy really fast, so he doesn't get his shield back. Yeah, yeah, just worry about the barrier. Um, with them being there, wasn't coming forward. Uh, the barrier right here can sometimes get him. Uh, we don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna br break this shield. We're just gonna give this guy a nice little spear and make him a unicorn. And then we'll, what we'll do is uh, this guy should be finished off here. We'll go over here and deal with the overload now. Again, as your grenades, as long as they do damage, your Shinobu's Vow will activate. If you have orbs up, if you have uh, anything else available, like grab an orb, you can just literally throw this thing all day long. Right, you're not worried about it. And if you never need a jolt, you can punch. If you don't have a trace rifle, you can always just uh, punch, 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 or use a scout rifle. All work. Right, saves you a lot of time. Uh, it's pretty easy just to run around and just grenade, grenade, grenade. You can have one mob up front, and then after that, you're going to have... Uh, an overload in the back. We want to just throw our grenade in the back to take care of any mobs here or uh, focus the overload. One of the two work. I do see there's a purple brick there, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot one of these off as I know I'll be able to get my ammo back. Hey, another one. Awesome. So I'm not going to grab that one now. It will put me up to seven, and I don't. I, I, it would be max, but I want to come back for this one later. So what I'm going to do is get a shot off on uh, a uh, barrier that'll spawn. And then once I get that shot off, I'll be in a good spot. Let's get some damage off on this guy. What it's going to do is activate his barrier. Awesome. And I'm going to back up a little bit. See if I can get a shot off. Awesome. Finish that guy off. Perfect. So we have five shots left. So what it means is when we go get that brick, we should be able to get uh, two more shots back as we need to. I have no problem throwing some ammo out. There's tons of heavy ammo all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and back here, grab this one. As this should be free. Perfect. Let's be up to five. Now you wanna just grenade spam everything past here. You wanna use your rockets on the shanks. Um, as they will kinda of do a lot of damage to you. You can I think I'm in a weird spot here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh get some health with this. Plenty of orbs, we love seeing orbs. We do have a nightmare drag here, so we're gonna just gonna grenade him out. Whenever we need health, we can always punch, punch, punch. Perfect. I do want to kill all these mobs over here first before the boss gets phased out. Um, as they, they'll, you know, put, make all these immune and I don't want to have to deal with that. So, kill a certain amount of mobs, boss activates. Uh, you want to DPS the boss down here, not worry about anything else. Uh, if you wanted to, you can make it a unicorn, all up to your preference. 
because he will teleport with it. He teleports with it and makes everything else over there die. So it's pretty nice. Stun overload. You want to use two shots here. Then you should be able to use a dodge punch or finisher whenever you'd like. But with all this uh, grenade kills, we should get plenty of charge to get our super back pretty quickly. And then as you get the boss through his next uh, third of his health, he'll then jump over to the far side. So I'll just keep grenading here until he gets low enough, and then he'll peace out. There we are. My recommendation is just pick, take the boss from this angle. You're going to have a bunch of mobs spawn, and for them to be vulnerable, instead of running in there, let them come to you. Uh, as they'll run away from his shield, and they'll be perfect for you to just uh, take them out. So you can then just grenade them, whatever you need to, finish her if you want to. And then now you're good. Now you can just... Sit back here, throw rockets if you have any, um, or you can just uh, kill the boss with Arbalist. Arbalist will do a lot of your damage. It'll keep you in a safe spot here. If you have grenades, throw grenades out as, you know, it's they're free, they'll come back all the time. But as long as you Arbalist, the boss should die really quickly and you'll be at a safe uh, side. If you don't have Arbalist, any, uh, like if you're running a Wish Ender or whatever, you'll be fine. Well, there you go. Boss is down, all champions are down. We got a nice exotic this time, sweet. Uh, if you guys haven't collected the cat thing, you can grab this thing. It's a little statue here for Triumph. Um, but uh, you know, go and grab that, door open for you. You're all set, six minutes and 50, 30 seconds almost. Um, you can probably do this way faster uh, if you just want to run through it and just kill champions. So you only have to kill champions, don't have to kill red bars. So if you just kill the champions, you can move on, right? You don't want to finish the whole room active. Uh, but hope this helps, like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. If you have any recommendations for other exotic weapons or armor pieces, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.